Hey guys, welcome back to another gym class with Coach Zach. Once again, we got another different video for you today. Uh, it's gonna be something a little bit similar to the yoga. It's gonna be our Mobility 101. So what is mobility? It's very similar to yoga. We're gonna take it easy and go through some movements that's gonna make your body feel a lot better. It's similar to stretching, but we're gonna be moving a little bit throughout the, throughout the exercises. And uh, we're gonna get into some deeper stretches and we're gonna make the body feel good, okay? And we're gonna loosen you up. So, uh, grab your water and mat. Take some now. And we're gonna start with our feet and work our way up to our neck, okay? So, first starters, once you got your mat and ready to go, come down on the floor with me. Okay, onto one leg. What we're gonna do to start is we're gonna have one foot forward and one foot behind, just like this. Okay, and go from the side too if you wanna see. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on our feet. Okay, we do a lot on our feet. Uh, we're walking around, we're standing. Our feet get tired, so we gotta take care of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on our big toe and our other four toes, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to try and push your big toe into the floor and lift up the other four, okay? So if you can see, I'm pushing and not much movement's happening, but I'm feeling it. Push your big toe in, lift the other ones up and then put them back down. Now from here, we're gonna push all the other ones into the floor and lift the big one up as high as we can. Good, and down. So that's gonna be one repetition, one rep, okay? We're gonna do about five nice and easy reps together, okay? So we're all gonna go at a nice and easy pace, find a comfortable spot, and we're gonna go together, okay? So we're gonna start, this is number two, ready? Push the big toe in and lift the other ones up. Up, hold down, push the other ones in, lift the big toe up, and down, that's two, ready? Little toes up, big toe into the ground, push as hard as you can with this toe into the ground, and down, push the other ones in, lift the toe up as high as you can off the floor, that's three, two more, big toe goes into the ground, good, as much as you can. And down and up. Really working the feet here. They need the love. And down, last one. Big toe into the ground. Last one, push as hard as you can with that big toe. Lift the other ones up as high as you can. And down, last one. Push those one little toes into the ground. The big one comes up as high as you can. You notice it's getting higher each time because it's getting more mobile. Good, down, switch feet. Five on this leg, okay? So we're gonna start by pushing the big toe into the ground, okay? Ready? Here we go, lift the other toes, push them in. You may find one foot is a little tougher than the other, and down, lift it up. I know this one for me is a little bit easier than the other side. And down. Push the big toe in. Push it in, push it in, push it in. Try to lift up the other toes. And down, lift the big toe. Good. Push the other. Keep remembering to push your toes into the ground. Good, and down. That's two. Get a little more comfortable here, ready? And up with the big toe. down with the big toe. Did that one in reverse there, but that's okay. Push, 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 and down. We're gonna go once again, pushing down with the big toe, okay? Down with the big toe, lift the little toes. Good. Push, 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 lift, 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 and down. Push the little toes in, and up with the big toe. Good, I know this one's tough, keep going. 
down, and last one up with the little toes. Push down with the big toe, last one, push as hard as you can with the big toe, lift the little toes up as high as you can, and down, last one with the little toes into the ground, big toe up, 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 push as hard as you can with the little toes, and good. Okay, so we got our feet going now, okay? If you're getting a little warm, that's okay because we're working hard even though you don't think it. You're moving the muscles, the little muscles in your feet that are very tough to do. Okay, so we're gonna get the left foot back out, knee on the ground, okay? So now that we've got the feet warm, we're gonna get the ankles loose, okay? This one's very, very good. A lot of people have very tight ankles and then it makes the rest of your body not feel so good. So you may notice that once you start stretching your feet and your ankles, that all of a sudden everything else starts feeling good. So, what we're gonna do, foot on the ground. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on keeping my heel on the ground, okay? And then this little pad under my big toe, I'm keeping that on the ground, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean forward and try to push my knee over my toes keeping my heel on the ground. And if you need a little help, you put your chest on your knee for a little extra weight on top. And what you wanna do here, okay, is try to lift your toes towards your knee. So go up with your toes, but keeping that pad on the ground, keeping the heel on the ground. One, two, and back, and everything goes back on the floor. That's one time. So we'll go again together. Heel on the ground, toes on the ground. I'm gonna lean forward with the knee. Toes come up. Feel it in your ankle now. Hold and back, that's two, okay? We're doing five. Forward, toes come up. Feel it in your ankle, good. Keep your heel on the ground, you don't wanna be coming up like that. Keep your heel on the ground. If you only can move a little bit, that's okay. And back, three, two more. Over the toes, push the knee, push the knee, lift the toes as best as you can. And back, one more. Heel on the ground, knee pushing forward. Oh, toes up, hold it, hold it, hold it. And back, good. Shake it out, shake it out. Okay, other leg, right foot forward now. Same thing, so heel's gonna stay on the ground, pad of uh, your, under your big toe on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna start leaning forward, good. This ankle for me is much more flexible. Okay, lift the toes till you feel it in your ankle. Good, and back. Relax, and forward, lift the toes, keep the heel on the floor. And back, two, ready, again. And back, that's three, two more. Forward, trying to get that knee as far forward as you can. Heels on the floor, toes are going up. Feeling good in the ankles. And we got one more, all right? Last time forward, push, lift the toes. Heel stays on the floor, try to get that knee as far forward as you can. And back, relax. Okay, everybody on your bum. Ooh. Shake out the ankles, shake out the feet. Oh, feeling good. Okay, the next one, we're moving up to the hips, okay? So what I want you to do, feet out in front of you, hands kind of by your side, okay? We're gonna roll the shoulders back and put the chest forward, okay? So we don't wanna be like this all the time, we wanna be nice and up, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my left side, both my knees are gonna go down to the floor as best as we can, okay? If you're, if you're here because you're a little bit tight, that's okay, so I want you to fight each time to try to get it a little bit more, but I want the chest up. No, 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 we're not going like this. Stay up, okay? So here, we're trying to get 90 degrees on both legs, okay? This one's called the 90-90, get it? 90-90, good. So from here, what I want you to do is we're gonna then go twist towards the front side. Put your hand on your hip if you want. That's okay. Then we're gonna put it back down. Legs come up and to the other 
side as best we can. And then chest facing over your other leg, okay? Good, and back down and twist. We're gonna do 10 total, so that was two. We got eight more, okay? Twist, if you're here and you can't go all the way, and you maybe can't turn all the way, you can keep your hand on the floor and maybe come up to the fingertips. I just want you to try and twist to open this hip, okay? So keep the hips on the floor, turn, and back. So each time you do this, I want you to try to get a little bit better. Now slowly, keeping that chest up, other side, number four. Good. Now, next cue, when you come this way, really try to squeeze his, squeeze his butt cheek. And then get your hips up, nice. And back down. Here we go, five, nice and slow. Really, really slow. We're trying to open the hips. Okay, squeezing the bum. Good. And comes back down. Number six. You may find that when you start to twist, your legs maybe start coming like this. That's okay, just readjust. We want these nice, angles here, a nice right angle, 90 degrees. Good, and back down, nice and slow with me. Number seven, good, and twist. Back down, oh, eight. And switch, very slow, follow me, we're not going fast here. Number nine. Okay. And last one. Slow, slow, slow. Good. Whew. Okay, come up very slowly. If you want, shake out those legs. Shake out those legs. Okay, the next one we're going to do, I'm going to show you from the side and then I'll turn my mat in so we can show. So stay on the ground. What we're going to do. If we're working this leg, we're gonna do the pigeon stretch, okay? So what we're gonna do is if you come to your hands and knees like this, you're gonna take this leg, cross them over, okay? So it's gonna be behind, and then I'm gonna sit this leg back as far behind as I can. So I have my left leg under, my left knee under my chest, okay? And my right leg is back as far as I can get it and my hands are right here. You should be feeling it really nice, right in the side of the butt, in your glutes, okay? So what we're gonna do, we keep a strong chest. Don't wanna be too rounded. Strong chest up this way. If you need to come forward a little bit, that's okay. Back a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is very slowly, we're gonna lower ourselves to the floor. Keeping, so we're not going with the face. If you can only go like this, I want you to keep a strong chest, okay? Nice and easy, so follow me. Good. And then when we go back up, we're gonna push with our hands and we're gonna push with the foot here or with the leg here. Through the knee, we're gonna push a little bit using the muscles in our leg and you're gonna feel it here when you push up. So we're gonna push up as much as you can, just a little bit. Yeah, so we feel that stretch, good. Then we're gonna go back down as low as we can. Hold that stretch. Push up, good. Pushing using this, using the glute muscles, okay? So down for three. Good. Follow me, same pace. And push, just get a good squeeze in there. Oh, it's gonna feel so good when we come out of this position. I know it's tough for, for some of you right now, feeling the burn. That's okay, down for number four. as low as you can. Try to breathe out when you come down here. <sighs> breathe into the stretch. And good, keep that chest up so we're not trying to get the face to the floor. That's okay, we're just trying to get the chest to the knee as best we can and push up. Good. If you feel like you can't push up so much with your leg, that's okay, you can use your arms to come back up. Last one on this side, ready? Down, nice and slow. Good, follow, hold it, and Pushing back up, last one. Really good, okay. Very slowly, bring this leg back up. And 
across it, okay? So I'm gonna turn around now so you can see this side. So same thing, we're gonna cross the legs. Ooh, this one's tight. <laughs> we're gonna cross the legs, we're gonna just bring this toe, walk it back as far as we can. Hands under the shoulders. And then we're gonna, knee is under the chest, knee is under the chest. Okay, ready, we're gonna go down together. Nice and easy. As low as you can with your chest looking in front of you. And then push up. And down. And up. Good. Getting good stretches here, good muscle activation, lengthening. We're gonna feel really good. Down. using the glutes. Oh, really nice. Two more. Down. And up. Keep that chest up. Good. And last one. Down nice and easy. Nice and slow. Really try to get a good stretch in that glute using your chest to go down. Good. And last one. Push up. Slowly come out of that position. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but that felt amazing. Okay, next one, a little bit standing. We're gonna do a little bit of the hamstrings because I know everybody gets very, very tight in the hamstrings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go feet together, okay? And we're gonna roll forward, kind of like a hamstring stretch, okay? Keeping the legs straight, and we're gonna go as low as we can, okay? And you're gonna see in this one, the, the more times we go through doing it, you're gonna be able to go lower and lower to the floor. So I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna start here by my ankles. Keep, make sure your legs stay straight, okay? So everybody, legs straight, go as low as you can. If you can grab your toes, that's okay. I want you to try to grab something, okay? I'm gonna start with the ankles. We're gonna hold it for five, four, three, two, one. What we're gonna do, hold that there. We're gonna bend the right knee and put all of the focus into the left hamstring now, staying in the same position. Okay, we're gonna hold that on the left side now. Right knee is a little bit bent, left leg is straight. Hold it. Three, two, one, and switch. Right leg is now straight, left leg is bent, and we're holding that. Three, two, one, switch again. Left leg straight, right leg bent. Good, and switch again. Right leg straight, left leg bent. We're gonna do that rotation one more time. Okay, and switch, left leg straight, right leg bent. Ooh, feel it. Last time, three, two, one, switch. Right leg straight, left leg bent. Three, two, one. What we're gonna do, both legs go straight now for five, four, three, two, one. Very slowly, we're gonna come up. Very slowly. Okay, shake out your legs. We're gonna do that one more time. And you can notice now when we go down, it's gonna feel a lot better. You're gonna get a little bit lower. Ready? Okay, feet together. One more time here. Feet together, slowly roll forward. I want you to try, try if you can, to grab on your legs a little bit lower. I was at my ankle before and I was stretching. Now I can easy get my toes. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my feet, grab my toes. We're gonna hold that, both legs straight. For five, four, Three, two, one. Right knee bends, left leg stays straight. Three, two, one. Switch, right leg straight, left knee bent. You may notice that one leg is maybe a little bit tighter than the other. Okay, something to think about. Maybe you need to stretch that one a little bit more. And switch. Left leg straight, 
right knee bend. Try to reach as far as you can down. Okay, as far as you can. Three, two, one. Slowly roll up and shake off the legs. Ooh, feeling real loose in the legs right now. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we can come back to the floor. to the floor, left leg is going to be in front, left leg is going to come forward, right leg back, okay, so we're going to be like this a little bit and then leaning forward, kind of like a little bit like a lunge position with your knee on the floor, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the right hand and put it a little bit outside the left foot, okay, next thing we're going to do, and if you can't get there, if you have a block or anything like that, or if you need to be on fingertips, that's okay. Try to get somewhere here. If you have to go a little bit wider, that's okay. Or a little bit closer, okay? So we're gonna try to put the whole hand on the floor. What we're gonna do, this is the important arm. We're gonna try and start with our elbow by the knee. We're gonna try to slide the elbow all the way down to the floor like that. If you can only get to here, and that's where the pain is and that's where it, don't push it. Try to go a little bit further every time, we'll stop there. So we're gonna try to go there and then we're gonna bring it back up the leg and keep going and we're gonna twist all the way, kind of like we did in yoga when we open up, okay? This one's a little bit more dy dynamic. Then we're gonna go back down, that's one. Back down as low as we can and then up and twist. Try to go back as far as you can. Two. Down. Up, that's three. Two more. Okay. Elbow next to the knee. Slide it all the way down the leg as far as we can. If you can touch the floor, ooh, elite status. That's okay. If you're here, try to go a little bit more each time. Back up and twist. One more. Last one, I want you to try to go as low as you can. Remember, breathe out. Breathe into, good. And last one, twist and back, hand on the floor. That way we can get that leg back into position. Then we're gonna have the knees together. Other foot comes forward, right foot forward. Left foot on the ground this time, right knee or by right elbow by the right knee and slide it down. Good, and back up into a twist. Nice. Down and up, two, good. Three more, down and up, down. notice again that one side seems to be tighter than the other. Down very slowly, last one. So I want you to think about that. When you're stretching, you're noticing that maybe one side up and hand down. Good. One side may be a lot tighter than the other. Maybe am I doing something? Am I sitting a certain way? Do I sleep on a certain side? But that's what these exercises are good for. Showing you which side. Maybe, maybe you need to do five more. On, on the right side because the right side feels, oh, it doesn't feel so good. But now we know, right? Okay, next one. We're gonna move up to the lower back. So everybody's sitting on the floor, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna lay back onto our back, okay? Then we're gonna take the feet in the air, 
arms to the side. Feet, uh, sorry, legs at 90 degrees here. Okay, arms to the side, all the way up, head on the floor. We're gonna slowly go all to the side and drop the knees to the floor, okay? And you may notice your arm wants to come up here. I want you to fight, but try and keep your arm on the floor, okay? Then we're gonna very slowly, tight core here, important, bring the knees back up and drop them to the other side. And hold, good. Keep that arm on the floor as best as you can. But if it's easier, palms up, palms down. Okay, and switch, we're doing 10. This is number three. Feeling it right here in the low back. Okay. Good. Keep the arm forward looking up and switch. Good. Keep those knees together. And switch. I want you to try now. We go to all the way down. Nice big breath out. Good. Switch. your head. Okay, we're going to move to the upper back now. So I'm going to come to my hands and knees here. Okay, so what we're going to want is knees shoulder width apart, hands under the shoulders here. Okay, we're going to start with the right hand. What we're going to do is we're going to thread the needle. We're going to put our hand through this hole between our, our, uh, our knee and our other hand. Okay, so we're going to make a little, a little needle here. What we're going to do is we're going to keep a, a tight core and we're going to slide our hand along the floor as much as we can and try to get as far as you can. And your shoulder is going to come to the floor and you're going to hold that and slowly bring it back. Then we're going to switch. Right hand comes to the floor, left hand makes a needle and we're going to slide it along the floor. And you're really trying to work the upper back twist and open up here so slide it along the floor as best we can as far as you can and hold it and back nice and slow that's two we got ten and there we go right arm goes through twist and back left hand core tight breathing out as we go twist Right arm, slide it through. Five. And back. There's no rush when we do mobility drills like this. It's all about going nice and slow and really working the muscles to go through a maximum range of motion. movements to make you feel good and loosen your muscles. Mobility uses dynamic movements to loosen your muscles and improve your joints. Good. Two more. Left arm goes through. Good. Last one. Right arm through. Good. All right. Feeling loose, feeling loose. Last one. This one is a 
a uh, complex or a movement that's going to work both our wrist and our shoulder. I'm going to show you the movement, we're going to practice it, and then we're going to do five each arm, okay? So what we're going to do, if you have an object or anything that you want to put in the palm of your hand, or just imagine something's right here, what we're going to do is we're going to pretend like something's in the palm of our hand. Uh, left hand comes to the hip, right elbow there bent 90 degrees here. So we're going to pretend like something is in our palm and that we don't want to drop it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to keep the palm facing the ceiling the whole time so that object stays in it, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate in, keeping it up and out, and then it comes all the way up to the roof. Then we're going to twist our hand again and then keep twisting and all the way back down, okay? So this one's gonna take a little bit of coordination, a little test for you guys to see if you can do it, okay? So we'll go through again. So watching me, right hand up, twist, elbow goes out, hand comes towards the body, twisting the wrist, arm goes straight, lean and lift my arm up as high as I can, and then twist my shoulder and my wrist, keeping it facing, so that way I don't drop anything, right? Okay, three more, here we go. Twist, follow me, nice and slow. Twist, 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 up. And then we're twisting the shoulder and the wrist again, and back down, two more. Ready, in, and up. Twist, oh, it's getting tough. And down, don't wanna drop it though, ready? Shoulder work here and twist and down. Ready? Left side. Put it into the other hand. Right arm on the hip. Here we go. In. Maybe a little bit difficult to do on the opposite arm. I know it is for me. That's okay. We'll do it together. Here we go. In. Around. Up. Shoulder twist. Keeping it up there. And back down. Almost like you're tossing a pizza up there. Around, up, tossing the pizza, and back down. Two more, ready? Nice, up, oh, toss the pizza, and then serve the pizza. There we go. Up, twist, oh, that's a tough one. But we got one more, we can do this. Okay, don't drop your item on this one. Ready, here we go. Don't drop the pizza. Don't drop the pizza, we want to eat it. Ready? On, oh, twist, keep it going, and service. Nice, good job guys. Okay, last one, we're gonna do the neck, okay? So, very important to go very slow here, okay? And then focus, okay, on each movement and, and trying to get your shoulders to go down. A lot of times we're on the computer, we're writing, we're doing things, we get our shoulders feel like this and we always like, oh, I have so much neck pain, I want a massage. Well, this is gonna be your own little massage. We're gonna take some stress out of your neck, okay? So very, very important one. If you have a couple minutes in the day and you wanna do this, perfect. So what I want you to do is make fists by your side. Then we're gonna roll the shoulders forward and back. And the goal is to try and get the shoulders to go down as much as we can when we go through this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start, put the head forward. Try to touch your chin to your chest, not by using your body. Stay upright. Try to just move your neck, touch your chin to your chest. You may feel the stretch. If you can't go all the way, that's okay. Just till you feel it a little bit, okay? Try to touch the chin to the chest. Good, then we're gonna slowly move to the left side. Very, very slow, remember, very slow. So now you're gonna to start to feel the stretch in the side of your neck, okay? Now this is when it's very important to, to keep the shoulders from coming up like this. So what we're gonna do is when you feel the stretch here, okay? Leaning to the left side now, I want you to squeeze the right fist. Squeeze the right fist, and what it's gonna do is squeeze the right arm. What it's gonna do is gonna bring your shoulder down. You're gonna feel the stretch a little bit more. Okay, so I want you to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Release a little bit, and squeeze, really feel it, okay? Try to get that shoulder to go down, you're gonna feel the stretch all the way there. Good, and 
slowly remove our neck to the back. And we're gonna try to get the back of our head to touch our back. And while we do this, we're trying to take both arms and put the fists through the floor. So I'm pushing, trying to put my fists to the floor, but then trying to touch my neck to the back. And very slowly, while I'm doing this, I'm gonna rotate it to the right side, like we did on the left side now. And as I get here, I'm gonna squeeze my left hand, my left arm, I'm gonna try and bring that shoulder down as best I can, and intensify it right all through here, okay? We're squeezing, we're squeezing. Active stretch here, mobilizing the body. And last one, very slowly, back down. Both fists trying to go through the floor and trying to touch the chin to the chest. You may notice you can do it now. I could barely do it before and now it's super easy. Last one, hold, three, two, one, and release. Shake out the body. Very good. That's our mobility uh, session for today. I hope your body's feeling fantastic. I know mine is now. It's very important to get some water now, okay? And very important to think, you, you can do a few of these movements whenever something's feeling a little bit stiff or, or you need to do a little extra stretching. Very, very good for you to work on the mobility, okay? Get the body feeling really good. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys next time.